stand by. Is the engine ready? Captain, are you out of your mind? We are up to our ears in high Ahead, slow. might destroy the Do ship. Do not forget my cargo. Captain, open the door. Captain, sir, open the door. What's wrong with you? Well, still the radio message. Did you give that message to him? Something. Calm down. There's no need to rush anymore. It'll start soon. How much longer? Don't know. This is an automated process. We need to get out of here. And go where? What about the crew? The crew will manage. Get the helicopter ready. Without the captain's permission, I can't do that, sir. I'll help you. We'll all do it together. I'll meet you up top in ten minutes. Cast thy bread upon the waters. For thou shalt find it after many days. Wait, he's saying something. <clears throat> no, I can't hear anything. And the flames of a great yearning to save them and lead them out onto an easy path leaped up in his heart. 
and these mighty flames were reflected in his eyes. And seeing this, the people thought he was enraged. They thought that was why his eyes flashed so. And they instantly grew wary, like wolves, expecting him to throw himself against them. And they drew closer about him that they might seize him and kill him. He saw what they were thinking, but the flames in his heart only flared up higher, for their thoughts added the sorrow to the flames of his yearning.